maybe settling back in. He's settled in here with a strikeout to start his days and the first pitch. Out toward left center field. 20 year old Fina. And Perez delivers a little bit low. Torres one of the he's had three streaks this year of 11 games. Look out and that got him. You would say it's a it's a good bet he'll get to with Torres off first base. Perez deals. And Stallings goes right back to the same pitch. Nasty slide. As Chisholm Jr. lead things off the Ocean Bank batting order followed by Josh Bell the DH today. Yeah the balls flying into the stands were bad enough but the yeah. bats uh, the. Facing Cole for the first time and takes. Ball a little high. 1-1. One, one. Foul back. And Cole's 1-2. See, he's already hit yesterday, that's for sure. That one definitely high for a ball. Three and two. Dials up 98 and gets the strikeout. So that pitches he'll go with. Ball inside to Josh Bell. Again, we always show you and the 1-0 pitch. Second base and a seeing eye single to start the day for Josh Bell. Homered yesterday, got the scoring started. A two run home run in the first, backing Sandy Alcantara. There's a cut and a miss. 0 2, bouncing ball towards shortstop. That's one. And really, not a, as we noted earlier on, not a high walk rate. On in two outs. And believe it or not, Sometimes 16 home runs 59 RBIs for De La Cruz swing and a miss at that cutter 0 2 tried the slider that time a slightly Rourke bet behind the plate tries for sure 2 2 lifted right side and that'll get out of again misses outside three balls two strikes and that'll give a rise in. There goes a rise. Here it comes from Cole. Just the opposite. Came in with heat. Again. And maybe Cole was uh, ready a little too quickly, perhaps. There goes a rise. And a hundred miles an hour. Esta transmisión de los Marlins está disponible en español. Billy McKinney and Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And now we've got uh, time called here. It's Yankee pitching. Or uh, Marlin pitching rather takes a strike right there. Ball outside now two and one. The last couple of days have not been great, and that's low for ball four. We, we've talked about it all summer long. You walk into a series whether it's uh, against the Marlins here or on, and there goes the runner from first. Throw from Stallings is not in time. It was something I'm sure the Yankees were thinking about with Sandy on the mound, but they never really had Yuri Perez. And there it is, number 14 for Bader. Goes to that slider to get the swing and miss, but they're one for one today. That's line to Guriel. Bader gets back in time. Waits on a 1 0. The middle of base hit. That'll boost those numbers. Jazz with the throw, cut off by Goriel. Then a productive hitters with runners in scoring position. 321 before the ribby there. A ground ball right here. It's the foul ball instead. One and one. Kind of Falefa ever since he's with runners in scoring position. So he's always come up big in those spots. Inside on Volpe, and it's two and one. Every day looks for the Bronx Bombers here in 2023. Runner goes. Throw down. Is late. 3 2. On the outfield turf. A strike on the edge. And in case you're you're keeping. Another fastball there. Gets ahead of ball for Perez. And how many stressful pitches he throws. How about that? 
That's a punch out inside corner at 99. <laughs> Jake Berger is swinging a miss for the first time. 1 1 pitch coming. I think the best way to describe Jake instances where we all forget that the, these kind of stuff, family's got to move. How am I getting to the ballpark tomorrow? Who are my teammates? Finding his groove. I know the feeling. Got, got traded one time. <laughs> Get rid of the condo in <laughs> Toronto. <laughs> oh, and by the way, we had a six month old. <laughs> yeah. So you know, easy to travel in one regard and nearly impossible to travel in another. You get in without the pitch clock. <laughs> I know. Ask Scully. And now one ball and one strike. Speaking of trades, tell the story. Hey, yeah, talk about adjusting. Joel Youngblood was with the Mets. He was in Chicago playing and got a base hit <laughs> for the Expos in that game. But the caveat. Cole delivers. And again, smack foul. Another one two from Cole. And taken low. They check down to third, no swing. That one to second. Right at Glaber Torres. Two away. 269 to 275 coming in. He's still on the IL though, isn't he? Right. Baldy. And same with Shane. Seven weeks left of the season would probably think Cole is the guy. Yeah, he's win last night for the Twins. More importantly, he did it against the Phillies. Yeah, we will take that one. Still helping out the mark. Down on the count, 0 2 here. Ground ball toward shortstop. Volpe comes in, throws off balance. He owns the inside part of the plate, but that look. Down and in to Jake Bowers, the big tall righty. That one inside. And down 2 0. And, and certainly at 6 8, this is. 98 elevated there evening things up here in the big leagues that one fouled straight back 2-2 Two -two. really good curveball yeah, right nice. there for the strikeout second time he's and there's a strike 98 Misses down and away. So since Judge has been back from the walks, 16 walks, 13 strikeouts, equating to a 450 on base. 3 1. Down low and another walk for Judge. Wonderful career and recently named the Kings. A huge honor. This is a fly ball to center for Jazz. And that's where Perez was operating that outer third and off the plate. All right, now you keep him honest. And that's what Stallings was thinking. Three and two. And Yankees here in the third. John Carlo would like to have that one back. You know. Off with the pitch again. And that one toward the left field corner and down. Judge with. Bader comes up empty there, and it's nothing in two. Ball center field, Jazz coming in and here. That was a something of a turning point for him last year when he faced the Astros in June in Houston. The one. However, even with the no hitter, he has not been. Uh, Joey Wendell lines it foul. Verlander uh, initially, as I looked ahead. Uh, Wendell with a rocket up the middle. He's still maintained the, the defense that he had when he was with Pittsburgh. 13 so far in August. And takes a strike. So it's an area where he would certainly like to. Fouled off the fastball at home play. These two overlapped as Pirates teammates in 2016 and 2017, and Stallings. A low strike. Jazz to center. 
Bader freezes out there, sets his runners at first and second. Nobody out. Now there's one out that you you want to leave. Bell had one of his better years in Pittsburgh as a teammate with Cole. This one back to the mound. That's one. Back to the netting. One ball, one strike to Arise. And we told you earlier, Luis Arise in his career now two for eight. He lead here in the third inning. And Arise with a base hit left field. RBI. Big run as it brings up De La Cruz who fouls it back because Marlins had first and second nobody out here. De La Cruz left center. And it is going to be Bader. 